Do you have to have a positive attitude? Because you may come in with one type of scheme and the client may not like it at all, so you have to come up with another idea and another idea. Well, to keep the, the kernel of the idea going, you really want to keep positive about the really good parts of the scheme that you've made and then continue on with those. So anything you can keep in a positive attitude helps the project in the long run. You're trying to get the building to use a whole lot less energy. You're trying to make it maybe a little bit more natural, a little bit more green, more uh, daylighting, more types of things like that. So you got to be flexible and you may have to learn some different techniques on the project and on the building to be able to get a really good end result for the project. Buildings don't just come together. They take a lot of work to do and a lot of things can go wrong. So the more of a positive attitude you can have, the more chance that you're going to do a successful project at the end. Well, you're obviously looking at your academic skills or technical skills, but you're really looking for a positive attitude and some workplace skills because if you're hiring somebody, if you're hiring two different people and they both have the same academic skills, they both have the same technical skills, but one of them has a lot better attitude, a lot more positive attitude, or one has better people skills and that type of thing, you're always going to pick that person because it's so important in, in the workplace to be able to get along with people, clients, fellow employees, all that kind of stuff. So it makes a big difference.